Hello, Jesse Curris here with another video on cybersecurity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replay a PCAP with malicious traffic from MalwareTrafficAnalysis.net. I will then perform network analysis on Security Onion, and I'll demonstrate the chain of events pertaining to a neutrino exploit kit compromise and the infection of a host with CryptMic ransomware using Wireshark. To give a bit of background information, the Neutrino Exploit Kit is a specific variant of a server-based framework which leverages exploitation of software-related web browser vulnerabilities, such as those related to certain versions of Shockwave Flash. CryptMic Ransomware is a dangerous form of malware which is spread using the Neutrino Exploit Kit, malvertising, and compromised websites. This malware will encrypt files within the hard drive, mapped network drives, and removable drives detected within the infected system. The malware will then hold these files ransom by demanding payment in order to decrypt them. Using TCP Replay, I will process the malware traffic analysis PCAP through the network interface in order to generate alerts within Squeal, which will provide a convenient visualization for alerts. As you will see, alerts will be generated as a result of the aforementioned network traffic. The first alert has an event message stating that an EI test evil redirect leading to EK occurred. EI test is a variable that is consistently found within injected scripts for compromised websites. So we'll go ahead and open the PCAP with Wireshark and take a look. This is an HTTP GET request to the sandpeddler.com. Let's go to URL void and check the host's reputation. As you can see, this host has a clean reputation according to URL void. Remember, this doesn't necessarily mean that it is non-malicious, as all websites are at risk of being compromised. Now let's follow TCP stream and see if we can find any additional information related to this GET request. At the bottom of this TCP stream, you can see that there is an embedded URL which is indicative of the script injection. Let's put that host in URL void and see what we come up with. As you can see, it has been identified as dangerous by two scanning engines. These results are not always accurate, but for now let's assume that it is true. Based on our findings so far, we can hypothesize that the sandpeddler.com is a legitimate website that has been compromised, and that the GET request will result in a redirection to the known bad website baseh.top, which will execute an exploitation attempt. Moving on to the next alert, flash request to set non-standard file name. Let's check it out on Wireshark. I immediately notice base h.top, which is the host that we observed earlier in the script injection, so I will follow TCP stream. In this TCP stream, we can see the subsequent traffic resulting from the previous GET request. The referrer is the sandpeddler.com, which we established is the compromised site. 
The version of Shockwave Flash here is a vulnerable version of this application. CWS at the beginning of this payload indicates a compressed version of a Shockwave Flash file. So far, the traffic confirms the initial hypothesis. The third event on Squeal basically says the same thing as the second alert, and it is based upon the same packet, so we're going to skip straight to the full PCAP file. We will have a timeline of everything that happened, starting from the git request to the sandpeddler.com and the redirect to the malicious page baseh.top, which is likely to be a gate which will connect to the exploit kit. Filtering out all but HTTP requests, I see that several more GET requests were made to a different host and IP with the same referrer, the sandpeddler.com. Let's see its reputation on URL void. As you can see, this shows that this is a potentially malicious host. At this point, we know that an exploit kit was likely to have infected this machine. However, we have seen no evidence of the CryptMic ransomware. Filtering for HTTP requests, or port 443 and push ACK flags, will help me isolate the ransomware traffic in the packets. As you can see here, there's plain text in the payload of this supposedly encrypted traffic. This is an anomaly, so let's check it out. This is a message sent to the infected host, stating that their files have been encrypted and giving instructions on how to pay to have them decrypted. At this point, we can safely say this machine has been successfully exploited with the Neutrino exploit kit and been infected with ransomware. Thank you for watching my video. Please thumbs up and subscribe.